Right, Keith. We're upstairs. Yep. Explain a bit more. Right, now we've got the upstairs quarters in the inn. Now up here there's quite a bit of activity, there's a lot more than I know, but there's quite, a, quite an interest in here. Uh, the first bedroom... Shall we go through? Yep, That's we'll go through to the Tell bedroom. What's going in this happen? bedroom there should be quite a few spirits in this bedroom talking to us. Now we're coming into the bedroom where there's always a lot of activity going on. Yes. Spir spiritually, I always have to say spiritually because we're in a bedroom. Yeah, quite often we've picked up uh, quite a few people in this bedroom. One goes back to Mary. There's always a Mary here and she always wears a dress which goes right down to the floor. But we're going back to Henry VIII time. We always pick her up around that time. So she comes in and there's a there's always a baby in this room as well because they must have had a baby in that little closet there at one yeah. time. Um, they feel there's a baby there sometimes and sometimes when we come up here we pick up a baby as well. So when the landlord uh, and he, you know, his wife I would assume, uh, I mean when they're in here, you know, um, well watching TV, so will they see movement around them? Pat sees more than Dave does. Mm. Dave every now and again he feels things I think, but Pat's the more sensitive one and she knows when there's things about so. So when we turn our lights off we hope they're going to come forward and... Fingers crossed I'm going to ask them to come forward and sort of get them to come forward. Normally we start feeling them first of all. So as you're standing there and I'm standing here, yeah. I'll normally ask them to stand in between us and sometimes we feel them in between us. So we get what, a, a present of someone a or present, them touching us? A present of a spirit standing yeah. right next to us. So hopefully we'll get them to do that. That's good, can't mm. wait. So uh, what other room are we going to go into the, now? We, we will go to the living room next yeah. because there's a bit of activity there sometimes and they do like to build up in there sometimes. Really? Like we go in there and see what's happening. Okay, in there. after you, you know yep. where you're going. It's very, I just want to explain to the camera, it's very topsy turvy this, this uh, inn. Um, how long, I mean, how, when was this built? How old is it? This inn was built in 1171. Yeah. So, hence why it's a bit yeah. wobbly. It's not one of those fairgrounds attractions where you go up and down. So, mind yourself, Rob, don't you fall in down. And there's some cats here as well. Don't trip over the cat. And okay. you have to watch your head in these places. All right. If the camera bumps, it's because yeah. Rob's hit his head, or the camera. Right, so this is the living room. Yes. We've been up in here a few times and we get the presence of a spirit coming in, but normally in this room we get a child coming in and she's in a long white dress type um, thing she wears with a bonnet on as well. But we've picked her up and quite a few other mediums have picked her up as well. She always likes to come in to be nosy. Yeah. So we yeah. sit here later, I mean, some nice chairs actually. Yeah. Uh, if we sit here later, um, it's very possible this little girl might come in. Yes. Yeah, because she does like to let herself know. Mm. Does she, she play about, to, you know, being like a she, child? She loves to play about. Sometimes she might move something, might sometimes. I mean, I mean, if you put one of these tangerines on the floor, I mean, was it, is, are we going to have a lot of any movement, do you think? I mean, you know, I mean, will she try and roll this? I, or? I always wish. <coughs> yeah. So, I never hope, I always wish. Mm. Cameraman Rob be eating the bananas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we've got quite a bit of activity in this room as well. I'm really excited. Yeah. But we'll go to the uh, the kitchen area now, because yeah. there's quite a bit of story to that as well. I just want to say before we go, because you brought some cameras here tonight, yes. some night vision cameras. So we've got one here. Yeah. So when we're not in the room, hopefully this will pick up some yes. orbs and... Would it pick up shadow, shadows? It will pick up... They can pick up shadows. Uh, we've actually picked up dark figures sometimes. So we actually get a dark figure now and again. We get yeah. a dark shadow, or you get the spirit orb, which is the energy of the spirit. And you've got one in the bedroom Into the as well. Bedroom as That's well. right, yeah. 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 Okay. Where are we right. going now? We're going to the kitchen because there's quite a little bit of history to that one. Okay. Mind your head, Rob. <coughs> now, this is the kitchen. We're coming into the kitchen now, which has got quite a bit of history to it. Now, why would they come to a kitchen, or don't they sit as a it kitchen? Most probably wasn't the kitchen at one time. Mm. But the, the interesting thing I find about this, from the outside, the, if you look at the window, there's the bottom of the window there. Yeah. 
but you can't see the top of the window. Oh, right. And if you look at the ceilings, yeah. it used to be the hiding places for the priests at one time. Really? When they used to hunt the priests. The priest holes. Hunt the priests? Yeah, they used to... Because um, like we've got Lee's Priory just down the road. Yes. You know, just so the viewers yeah. get a judgment of, you know, where we yeah. are, location. So Lee's yeah. Priory, what, two miles or so down the road? I would say about two, three miles. Yeah. yeah. Because you said there was a tunnel there was a from Lee's Priory to here. Yeah. Which you're going to show us the beginning part yeah. of the tunnel here, but unfortunately we can't go down a tunnel because it's been blocked. Yeah, but we can see the entrance yeah. where they used to come yeah. through and have their drink. Mm, cool. Mm. Um, how many spirits have been here? We've not picked many up in here, actually, mm. because we, we've been in here before. The only person I've ever picked up in here is a gentleman. He's quite a stocky gentleman. He doesn't really want to talk to me. So, Would it be like the old owner or something? Oh, or? Yeah, it would have been an old owner, like land. I don't know if they called them landlords in them days yeah. or not, but he's going way back because I've got... used to have the trousers down to the knees, and they used to have them sort of like a... A piece like a sock going down to the shoes. Yeah, so. because you said to me earlier off camera, you picked up King Henry VIII. We've uh, picked up yeah. King Henry VIII. So we're going back before. that far. Yeah. Uh, so would this have been, uh, you know, like a coach inn? This back was then? this was actually a coach inn at mm. that time, because they used to come here. Even Henry VIII's been here. Uh, his one of his I know of one of his wives have been here, and she stayed in here mm. because. She's actually got a house down the road. Yeah. Well, she, she most probably still vacates it, but mm. she used to live down the road. Mm. And we can't wait until the lights go off. And in this room, we've got our, the cameras, the television, and that's set up for all the cameras in the two rooms. Yeah, so we, uh, we come in, and you can switch between the two. Yeah. Um, the bedroom and the living room at the moment. Was it me or did I, did I just see no, something? you've just got the audio. Oh, was it the camera? I just saw something move across. The, well, and it might have been the camera. Yeah. I thought I just saw no, something go no, across the screen. No, it was actually an and I forgot, it to, was an I forgot to record. That's great. We've just seen our first orb. There's another one just gone past. Because what we're starting to see now is the spirit. Oh, there's another one. Can you, can you see this move right? around now? Yeah. Uh, just let the production crew know uh, we've got orbs moving on the uh, oh, TV, yeah. on the TV here. So, do they know we're here? Yes, they yeah. definitely know that we're here. Because I always believe it's like we've got our world here. Yeah. But the world, spirit world, is right next to us. Mm. So they will come up and stand with us and move around us. Yeah. Do they mind us being here? Some do, <coughs> some don't. Mm. So. They, if they don't like you here, they will let you know. Yeah. And hopefully when we go into the bathroom in a minute, there's one place there they they definitely don't like us here. Really? Yes. So why Every, don't you share their Everybody feels uncomfortable in that room because mm. as soon as you walk in there, it's like as if there's a spirit entity there, really? which is negative, and it's always been negative. It's never... Mm. We've got to go. Yes. <laughs> Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> right. Okay, lead off to the bathroom. Right. In that room, actually, I felt you know where the cupboard is. That's yeah. where a lot of the activity is. Yeah. But I also felt, as I'm standing there, mm. just for me a day, and I felt like my well, I've got lost or I'm paralysed. I haven't got no food there at all. Right. So also, I feel mm. to be very true for Louise, some sort of name like that. Right. Do you understand it? Yeah. Really yeah. And also the bells. I feel like someone was ringing bells. But what is this about? Some mm. bells. Oh, that's right. that? I'm not too sure. I'll have to ask. I'll have to ask. I didn't even see that. I'll have to ask about that. But with the throat air is quite important because we do pick up in that bedroom someone that had been strangled or killed at one time. Yeah. 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 That's great. Yeah. So I'm watching that TV screen because it's. There's orbs moving. There's orbs. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. That's right. Because it, it, it knows they're in there. So the cat's doing what you said, so yeah. you must pick that up. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's like watching one of those programs with yeah. the, uh, the, the tennis going across the screen. There's yeah. loads of orbs. Right. Okay, now, let's have a look at the kitchen to the bathroom. As you notice, the floors are all 
topsy turvy yeah. and feels like you've had a drink before you have a drink so yeah it's good so it's quite interesting <laughs> it is i mean i did ex you know like try to explain earlier it's, it's like one of those fun castles yeah. but then again you know the building's like hundreds of years old so it's yes. to be expected you know this room's all oh. now if we go back just a little bit i can smell that perfume smell yeah as i walked in i don't know if you can smell anything but like a I can smell fragrance. Yeah. But I don't want to put the words into your mouth, so I, I've got the fragrance there, but there was another smell as I got coming into the room. Is that fragrance is taken over? No, I can't smell it now. Right. No. I won't say anything about it, just in case you pick it up later. Yeah. Now this room's always been interesting because this back room all the mediums they walk towards it it's always been that negative feeling it's like as if someone sometimes you can stand there it's like as if someone's right in your face really and they're sort of standing there as if they go away go away i mean the people who live here i yeah. mean they must be <laughs> I mean, it's so relaxed with what goes on i mean i mean you say there's somebody who stands in there they've got a walk-in shower just yeah. here i mean so they must be so relaxed with what, yeah. what goes on around them. Normally, Pat has that door closed all the time. Yeah. Because she feels there's a presence <coughs> there, so she always has it closed. And when it's normally open, it's like as if the negativity yeah. is coming out. So it does cause a few problems. So that, that, this spirit is just here? In that room, in that cupboard. It doesn't go anywhere else in the building? We're not too sure. Yeah. Because we do pick up negative downstairs, but we're not too sure if it's the same person. Because there are so many here. Right, mm. I wasn't sure if that was you or uh hmm. brush just fell down. There was quite a, there was an incident here at one time. The the whole shower and the wires and everything caught fire and the fireman said the whole pub should have gone up. Yeah. But it was just contained in just this little area and they couldn't find any hot spots around this area and they found it quite strange. As if like it's like a um, spooky mm. fire. So whatever's in there, yeah, caused the fire. We some mediums have said that. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. It, but we've actually yeah. said it. But obviously, fire brigade can't say that, can they? No, you can't put it on no. their their uh, on mm. their their films. Yeah. Cause for fire, mm. a ghost. But it normally happens if the all the spirits are happy in this inn. Yeah. But there's certain times when certain things happen and something upsets them. When they get upset, they t um, they fight back and do something that... What, to the living? Yes. Yeah. They try and do something. They've never hurt anybody, but mm. they do fight back. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, if you were to say, oh, go away, will they? Yes. Yeah. They will. Yeah. They've I'm got, alive. Got to go away. You've passed. Yeah. You know, let me live my life. I know you're there. But in in this inn, you they get they stand back, mm. but they don't go away. Yeah. Because they're still living their little lives around yeah. this area. So it's quite interesting. It is. And once again, I can't wait till the lights go off. Yeah. Um, is there another room we can look at? Yeah. And uh, was that door closing by itself, or did you? <coughs> was it, it? Was it camera man Rob? Did you close the door? I the cameraman Rob said he hasn't uh, touched right. the door and the door's been closing. <laughs> so later on, we'll leave him in there. <laughs> as it gets a little bit darker, we'll sort of just yeah. stand inside there and just to see how you feel. Yeah, cool. Because that presence really lets itself yeah. known sometimes. I've even seen at one time, we didn't have it on film unfortunately, where this young chap walked forward to the door there. He opened the door and he was actually thrown back and he ended on the floor behind you. Wow. Bring it on. Yes, that's what we want. Unlike a certain program where they see a shadow and run from it, <laughs> we're here tonight to actually confront the shadows. Yes, we are, definitely. Yes. So we'll be all right. We'll make a good team. Yep, smashing. Right. Right, lead on, Keith. Let's go to the next room. Now we're coming out of the bathroom. So tell me a bit more history on this. In well, it used to be a coaching at one time when they all used to come from all over the country and stop here on the way there to where they're going and everything. They used to stay here. They used to have 
Um, the, one of the interesting places is up in the loft, yeah. but unfortunately we can't get up there because it's very fragile up there, where the priest used to hide into their little mm. cabby holes there. He likes hiding this priest, doesn't oh, he? Oh, he does, yeah. Yeah, especially the monks where yeah. they had their little tunnel to the pub so yeah. they could come down and stay in the cellar and have their little drinks as well. That's why they hid here, because they're yes. not allowed to drink. No, yeah. no, because they used to do that. Mm. But. Well, we've seen, uh, with the lights on, the bathroom, yep. bedroom, kitchen, lounge. Yep. So now I think we should go into the lounge, turn the lights yes. off. If we sit there, hopefully get them come forward. Set up the night vision cameras, yep. and you know we've seen some orbs already yes. on the TV in that room. Yeah, and hopefully while we're sitting there, as, they, as we get them to come forward, they should move around us. If anybody wants to sit in there and watch, or they yeah. can watch later on. So yeah, yeah. cool. Okay, lead the way. Right. Not that I'm scared, but you no. know the place. Mind it again, mind your head. It's like when I was at one place, they said to him, look, please take that up, can you come forward and hold Pete's hand so he could feel you holding his hand. Oh, a draft around my hand right yeah. now. Right, I'm just going to... There's actually a draft there. Is there? Yeah. What, a draft or a yeah, draft just from the girl? Just because it's not... It's not there, it's not there, it's not there. It's not there. It's just on the bottom of my hand. Can you put your fingers around his hand so you can feel it? Fingertips. Yeah, just, yeah. just hold his hand there. And I'll say I need to come over and check this for us. Can you come over, Riley, and just let your hand go very, very slowly and relax towards his hand? Or you can do it from there, sort of. Just so see, just it's like let your hand relax so at the back of your hand. Yeah. So you're doing this. So that when your hand touches right. the spirit, you should be able to feel something. Can you feel anything there? Actually, I can feel it's quite cold there. Yeah. Because, yeah. But actually, I feel quite wobbly. Mm. So I'm here as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is. It, yeah, it's definitely mm. quite, it's quite drafty there. Somebody else probably come and feel this themselves because you can actually feel that. It's quite drafty. Yeah. I can't feel it now. Yeah, but I can. Where's your hand? Uh, up there. Uh, yeah. Go there. It's more go over it's more there, actually. Put your hand there. Just slightly. Just go just over a little bit. What? Towards you? Yeah. Can you feel that now? In between. Quite a draft. Something. Right, let me put my hand under yours and you sit there and go there with me. Where am I going? Can you feel anything there? Well, there's the cat. I'm just going to take a photograph of the cat. She's coming too close now. Hello. So I was just going to try and take a photo of the cat. It's where the cat's playing. Just want to see if there's a orb around her. So if we're really ready for the flash. Yeah. I'm just gone. Right. Okay, Keith, we're now in the bedroom. Yes. So there's a lot of activity goes on in here. Yes. And we've got some angry man who comes out the cupboard. Yes, he does. Said. Yeah, and there's always a child coming from that cupboard as well. Mm -hmm. But I must say, the, 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 just a little joke, that the activity is spiritual activity. We're talking <laughs> right, about, okay, so, yeah. 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 <laughs> right, yeah, it's Rob. You do want to stay at night. <laughs> Come on, man, Rob. <laughs> yeah, we do get quite a bit of activity in here. Uh, we do get a negative spirit coming from that cupboard sometimes, and it's like... There was one really bad time we had to get everybody out there straight away mm. because it was really angry. What was it doing? It was trying to attack people. How? And when they attack they can, you? they can make you feel ill, mm. uh, they can scratch you, bite you, anything like that. We've had bites and scratches here before. 
which have been quite exciting. Pat's experienced that a few too. times. Yeah. Is he still talking yeah. about the paranormal activity? Yes, he is. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. But what we're going to try and do at the moment is see if they can come and communicate with us now, because the temperature around my legs at the moment are changing. There's a temperature change right between me and Pat. I can feel drop. And it's all I'm next to the window, but I can feel Is drop. there a draft coming through the window? The window's open. Window's so. open. Yeah. <laughs> So if we can get them to come forward, I will ask them to stand in between, if you can stand in between Maz and Pete, so that they can feel you right in between. Can you come out of that cupboard? And just push Maz out of the way, she'll be all right. Yeah, she'll be all right. Now, I've picked up Georgia in here before. I've picked a Georgia up here, haven't I? Georgia, are you still with us? Now, Georgia, I felt, We've actually picked you up here because we felt the strangulation and everything, so we know it's you that's here. I'm not going to talk too much because we want you to come back with something as well. We're all going to stand still. Can you make a noise or anything or talk to us so that we can hear you? There is a, there's a strange connection. I've no idea before. Um, <coughs> what you got? Oh, somebody else. I've not had this one before. Come on, you've got to give me a little bit more. Come a bit closer. I've got to say two cavaliers, something about two cavaliers that keep coming in here. Right. Two of them. And they're sort of, as if they're coming in, just sitting, chatting, plotting and trying to sort things out. Was there any <clears throat> ownership to do with Cavaliers at one time? There was definitely Cavaliers here. Yeah, because it got like, as if like they were, they were part of this place. Yeah. They're really trying to come in strong, trying to organise things. And there's something to do with building something as well. I've got a building, that, they must have had something to do with the building as well. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Were they nice? Mm. No. no, not really. Plotting. That's right. That's we, we, in them days, we all plotted against each other. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Everybody plotted against everybody. Yeah. Because actually, Cromwell passed through here as well. I know with one of these cavaliers I'm getting an awful backache and this cavalier is saying I'll give this backache to somebody else when he's around. So when the cavalier comes forward he does give people backaches. Is anybody else getting a backache here? No. 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 Yeah, and you lot are not going to give us any more activity, are you? Okay, not a lot happened tonight. It's, uh, do you think they're a bit scared? It's a very unusual night. I've never known it before. I've been coming here for quite a few years now looking after the spirits when they need looking after. They've never stood back like they have before. Very unusual. Uh, I think there's more spirits behind the bar tonight than there is up here. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Very disappointed at the moment. I mean, because when, when I googled yeah. this place, uh, it said the most haunted pub in Britain. And it has been up till now. Mm -hmm. yeah, it has been most haunted up till now. All the people that have come in before, it, people before me, they've all felt something, all yeah. sensed something. The only evidence that's really come forward tonight is on. Yes, the box. even before we started filming, yeah. we had, yeah. filming, we had uh, all the across about. the screen there. Yeah. Because there, there was one point, we, we don't know about the living room until it's shown back, mm. when we all came out of the living room, we had some lovely orbs. Mm. 
moving about, checking the room out. So they wait until we've come out of the room before they start playing up. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll come back another day. Mm. Yeah. And, I mean, I, well, I, it's hot today, so would the heat as well no, just quickly? It, it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold. Never difference at all. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, we'll come back another day. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us here. Right. And we'll see you next time. Yes. Thank you. Definitely.